The race for who will eventually be elected president of Nigeria after February of 2023 has, in the past few weeks, become a high-stakes game. Politicians are now being forced to pay closer attention to various socioeconomic challenges facing the nation, including rising insecurity, the high cost of living, and experts say these two, in a sea of well-known problems, may ultimately determine how the Nigerian electorate may vote when the first ballot is cast for the next Nigerian president on the 25th of February of next year. Omoyele Shori is the presidential candidate of the African Action Congress, and he joins us now to have a conversation on Newsday. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. We are glad to have you. Thank you for bringing me. All right. The campaign trail is a thick and arduous one. February 2023 seems like a, it's a short time away. A lot of individuals are watching your campaign and criticizing, maybe even saying that it might not take you all the way to the presidency. Uh, regardless, uh, if there is a chance that you do not make it all the way, are you prepared to join up with another presidential campaign, uh, with another uh, party, that is, if you see that uh, getting towards February, things are not going the way you want to in order to realize your political ambitions? No, uh, our political party philosophy and ideology is different. I don't know where you got the impression from that uh, my campaign or our campaign cannot take us to the presidency. Which campaign takes people to the presidency? Is it the pay-to-play campaign or, you know, the paparazzi we see all over the place of people pretending to campaign in echo chambers? That's not, uh, that's not how to judge who will go to the presidency. It's the people who decide who will go to the presidency and will be reaching out to these people, Nigerians. Okay, you tweeted a couple of hours ago that when I hear them say Nigeria's situation is complex, I say elect a leader who understands how to use simplicity to resolve complexity. Now, I'd like you to break that down for us. If given a chance to become the next president of the country, how would you tackle the issues of security, education, economy, healthcare, corruption, and all the myriad of challenges that the country is facing at the moment? So the reason why I use the word complexity is because that's one excuse. So the biggest alibi that uh, our old uh, political elite use to confuse the Nigerian people. Everything is complex to them. You know, uh, security is complex. And then they went and brought a retired general. He couldn't solve it. Economy is complex. They went and brought a banker. He can't solve it. Uh, education is complex. They went and brought a bricklayer. They can't solve it. Petroleum supply is complex. They went and brought a nuclear physicist. They can't solve it. But they throw all this at you, these vocabularies at you and I, because they don't want us to believe that Nigeria can be fixed in any way. Part of the reason why I say Nigeria is not complex, I speak from the point of geography, that Nigeria is just a small country in terms of size. The entire country of Nigeria is just about the size of Alaska. In fact, Alaska, one of the states in the U.S., is bigger than Nigeria. If you fly from one section of Nigeria to first place. So the simplicity of it is that there's a lot of low hanging fruits out there in terms of how to solve the security problem first by ensuring that you motivate, you incentivize, you provide weapons, you provide leadership for the security agencies. You make sure that security agents are doing what they should be doing and not what they should not be doing. Police should be policing, the army should protect territory, the customs should collect duties and ensure that immigration ensure that borders are safe. If you have all these de delineated areas of security, you know, specialties, you will not be complaining every day about some of the simplest crimes that you can solve. When it comes to education, invest in education. You have a problem with ASU, don't make it look like you can't solve it by providing just 200 
billion naira to start uh, to ensure that as to goes off strike, we have you know investment that is needed in healthcare. Make the investment because the money has been assigned several times. Every year you always bring us huge budgets. You pad it. Nigerians don't complain. But when it's time for implementation and delivery, you start telling us that it's complex. If Nigeria is complex, why is it so easy to steal from Nigerians? Why is it so easy to manipulate the system and game the system? This is the reason why I keep saying Nigeria is not complex. What you have are people who have no capacity whatsoever, and you keep promoting them as the real deal. Uh, that, that's been promoted to govern the country. You are not going to have a Nigeria that works when you keep giving social and political promotion to people who have failed Nigeria over these years, and you make them the frontline candidates. You, the, the media is complicit in this regard. People who don't come for interviews, you keep inviting their spokespersons, they never talk to you. But when it's time for debate, you say these are the frontline candidates. Who decided that they are frontline candidates when they don't even talk about issues to Nigerians? So let's deal with the issues with reality. Talk to people who have ideas, people with manifesto. You have candidates in this election who have no manifesto and have sworn that they may not provide one. But you keep promoting them as people with solutions. How do you find out your solutions when it's not in any written the problems that you claim you want to solve? So let's be serious. Stop manipulating the Nigerian public by presenting to them people who have no ideas and presenting people who have ideas as people whose campaigns are not serious. Well, Mr. Shore. The serious campaigning that we're doing here. Well, Mr. Shori, it's, it's good that we have yes, you here and we're speaking directly to you about these issues. And you have discussed um, uh -huh. how you would tackle insecurity, uh, although briefly. But <laughs>